attempt to make that suffering be a major issue that will even it will sow the idea of you rebelling against god because of that suffering but the reason why god is allowing you to go through that process is so that they can disarm your appetites and then usher you into a certain glory are you following me next verse it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation or the unveiling of the sons of god the reason why creature is waiting for the sons stay with me stay with me stay are you there you know the the sons of god were the ones that were responsible for the bondage of corruption I told you there were three consequences that resulted from the mingling and one of them is corruption the second one is violence read next verse the next verse then you see where i'm going he said for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who subjected the same in hope. Stop. I don't know what fruit. What fruit do you like best? You like mango? You like orange? Okay, mangoes. Do you realize the mango you tasted that you liked, that you felt was so sweet? That is not how the original mango was. you know no. let's go back to the scripture he said for creature the creature was made subject to vanity what's the meaning of that have you have you gone to the book of revelation because the book of revelation reveals that the reason why god created everything was for his pleasure it means all those things were supposed to reflect him reflect to the fullest fullest extent hmm? but the moment the bondage of corruption came on the on, on on creation god was forced to downgrade the capacity the quality of creation was forced to downgrade it yes and he did that with the hope that the time was coming where he will release another set of the sons of God. So the, the moment creation came under the bondage of corruption from the book of Genesis chapter 2, the full potential of creation could no longer be seen. You still remember? I know, no need to take you there. Do you still remember that there were a few men that had the authority to regulate creation? People like Joshua. He could give a decree and the sun stood. Huh? Do you still remember when Jesus came, he could speak to the wind and the wind will cease. He could speak to the waves, the waves will Do you remember that when Deborah was, was in battle, the Bible says that the stars fought from their causes. Who, I know you don't believe that the, the stars can be weapons. The reason why you cannot believe that is because of the bondage of corruption. The potential of creation was downgraded. But it's the sons of God that is when they come that the full capacity that is captured in the physical creation Are you there? Now, this manifestation of the sons of God will partially begin to experience fulfillment in our time. And the ultimate manifestation is when Jesus comes in the millennial reign to reign. Can you see that factory, factory reset that took place is the bondage of corruption that was lifted. When witches want to cast a spear, they go to the river. 
they do enchantments on the river they do enchantments on physical things and those things obey their instructions and they channel them against you the reason why creation is obeying them is because creation is in bondage you are the one that is supposed to regulate it but the sons of god have not matured because they have not matured creation doesn't want to obey the bidding of witches but it is compelled by that bondage so to do we have decided to remain immature not to grow in the things of god we think that the reason why jesus died is so that you can prosper Prosperity is a consequence of alignment. It's not really a message. Say, so when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things will happen to you. He said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord his God, and on his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his foot in his season his leaves also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth it's a consequence it's a consequence of alignment the consequence of alignment the ark of God killed Uzzah because David and the people trying to bring the ark into the city forgot the divine order associated with the transportation of the ark and then after Uzza died they were looking for somebody that if he dies they will not cry they now say Obededon is the person so they drop the ark, the ark in his house say if if this one dies there's, there's no problem the man they drop the ark in his house not for good reasons the guy now discovered how to interact with the God of the ark and he was worshipping him respecting him in fact the whole household he sanctified them they began to give praise quietly and then the result of that alignment was prosperity the moment oh my I don't have time that's the result then they now heard again that the ark has made the man prosper instantly they came and Is a result of alignment don't look for what is not lost it was not Adam's purse that fell in the garden of Eden it was not his pocket that became it's not the coins he carried it was the opportunity for him to function in God's kingdom that he no longer had access to if you align yourself with that kingdom you will prosper you will prosper and he say whatsoever he lays his hand upon to do that 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 means like me now i'm not a businessman i'm in ministry but i have prospered do you understand so all of us don't need to be business people to prosper we don't need to be chasing money to prosper all, all of us Meanwhile, there are those among us that have the anointing and calling from God to, to that economic area. But all of us, if we are aligned with God, where he has placed you, you will prosper. It's a consequence of alignment. We are not mature, so we are looking for what is not lost. But when the sons come, they want to be led by God. They don't have an agenda. They don't have what they are looking for. All they are looking for is what God is looking for. The same way Satan was building a civilization through people that had his image. God wants to reproduce sons of God that we have his image. And that we mature in the things of God. That is only what the spirit of God leads them to do that they will do. Those guys, those guys will manifest God. I told you that anything that has the hold of your heart is what your life reflects. It says that creation was made subject to vanity and it was not that creation was willing to come under bondage 
but it was by reason of him that means it was god the regulator that downgraded creation in the hope that something will happen what is that thing verse 21 yeah because creation itself also shall be delivered from what from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of god the earnest expectation what creation is waiting for creation wants to be liberated and the sons of god will come with the glory of god why because they will be yielding to the spirit of god and the spirit of god will be at liberty to manifest his fullness his glory the things he wants to do the civilization he wants to bring the things he wants to build in the earth he will be at liberty to do it and when the sons of god come with that glory then creation will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into that glorious liberty of the sons of god the witches will remain strong in your family until one among you rises in the stature of the sons of god the moment that guy shows up on the scene manifesting the glory of god manifesting the hand of god manifesting the spirit of god suddenly suddenly the family will be delivered from the strangled hold and the limiting powers of witchcraft that have put limitations on the destinies of men and they will have the opportunity to maximize their actualization just because one of the sons of god shows up so the question is are you the one who is to come or should we expect another the darkness will continue creation will keep groaning until these guys that carry the image of god these guys that the spirit of god has colonized their heart these guys that have yielded in their heart to the spirit of god to become a theater for him to display his glory once they show up then you begin to see the symptoms of the bondage of corruption will start becoming swallowed up by the glory that their liberty in christ jesus is beginning to reflect oh and if we are a million people that are operating like that you begin to see urban renewers oh if you are if we are 20 million people in kenya that begin to operate like that then you begin to see that kenya will be aligned into god's prophetic program the things that god wants to implement the things that god conceived about kenya in those days it will begin to manifest in free course and the bondage of, of corruption that is on the economy that is on the kenya shilling <laughs> it will be broken so the world is waiting for us the earth creation is groaning is groaning is groaning hallelujah 